Hey folks, we've got another video how-to for you. Uh, this one is actually kind of a follow-up to that little quick video I gave you about mold. Um, as you can see, this, hopefully that'll focus in, is a container, an old container, as it used to be packaged, for the Koba Jamil traditional Jirak. Um, these tubs are kind of... Eh, if you're if you're getting yourself some uh, Giroc, chances are it's going to be in this kind of tub. Um, they don't seal very well. They don't really preserve things super well. So, I mean, as I've expressed before, you want to store this stuff in the fridge to try and prevent mold. But something else you can do is to kind of try and prevent air exposure. Now, hopefully you'll be able to see this, but what I do is I use my oyster fork to cram everything kind of into a uniform layer. Um, that's just easier than doing it with your hands, but you can do this with your hands or anything like that. Uh, you do a spoon, I really don't care. Um, what matters is you want to try and make it like pretty even. Um, you don't need to be crazy, but then you take some cling wrap. Uh, and you can see this is the cling wrap I've already been using because there's some molasses stuck to it. You place that over your tobacco and then press it down and into the container using your thumbs or fingers similarly to how you would use them when packing a Tangiers bowl with Tangiers tobacco super, super dense. You're trying to get rid of any air in there. Try and reduce air contact as much as you can because mold needs air to grow. Now once you've done this, and that's pretty good, I mean you don't have to go completely crazy on it, but you can see it's pretty much a complete seal. Um, that works really well because Jirac is so sticky, this stuff isn't going to go anywhere. And that makes this really pretty much mold proof so long as you're keeping it in the fridge. Um, I then usually either tuck in the pieces or let them hang out the side, but that's about it. And this will keep really, really well. It's really simple, it's really quick, and it saves you a lot of time and frankly, a lot of money when it comes to replacing tobacco that's gone moldy, which I have done oh, way too many times. Um, the same thing can be done with things like Desimurli or Nakhla Zaglul or Kanal Kalili, things like that. Anything that has a mold risk, this is a really good technique to use. Um, so that's it. This is Paul once again for Hookah.org saying thank you very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this how-to video and we'll have more coming up for you in the future. Please make sure to check out the forums. We've got lots of conversations going on. It's also the only place that you'll find all the information you need to enter our newest contests. So that's about it. Make sure to go down below, like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and happy smoking.